The top 10 most expensive homes in the world. Hi guys, welcome to our channel. We are back with new video. The topic of the video is the top 10 most expensive homes in the world. Before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and press bell icon to get latest updates. Hey we go, we all want to build ourselves a cozy place to call home, with a pool, a garden, while some of us go all out on building luxurious dwellings which we can show off to our peers. In this article, let's look at the top 10 most expensive houses in the world that will take you a whopping amount of money to have them built. As much as we love our own homes, it's always interesting looking at some of the most expensive, luxurious properties around the world. 1. Buckingham Palace London, UK, the Queen of England is the Queen of Real Estate. Buckingham Palace is technically a crown property and comprises 775 rooms, 188 staff rooms, including 52 royal and guest bedrooms, 92 offices, 78 bathrooms, and 19 staterooms making this not just the world's most expensive residence, but also the most roomy tip too. Antilia Mumbai, India, owned by India's richest man, Mukesh Ambani, the 400,000 square foot Antilia on Mumbai's Kambala Hills is situated in one of the world's most expensive addresses, Altamount Road. Designed by Chicago-based architects Perkins and Will, with the Australian-based construction company Leighton Holdings taking charge of its construction, the building comes with 27 floors. Replete with extra high ceilings. Every floor is equivalent to an average two-story building's floor. In fact, Antilia can survive an earthquake of magnitude 8 on the Richter scale. India's most expensive house also has six dedicated floors for cars, including Ambani's 5 Indian rupees crore Mercedes Maybach. Villa Leopolda Cote d'Aja, France, the villa has had several notable owners including Johnny and Morella Agnelli, Isaac and Dorothy J. Killam, and, since 1987, Lily Safra, who inherited the villa after her husband's death. A Brazilian philanthropist and widow of Lebanese banker William Safra, her 50-acre estate includes a massive greenhouse, a swimming pool and pool house, an outdoor kitchen, helipad, and a guest house. The house was even used as a set in the Alfred Hitchcock classic, To Catch a Thief, 4. Villa Les Cedres French Riviera, the Villa Les Cedres on the French Riviera, priced at a whopping $410 million, is fit for a king, probably because it was built for the King of Belgium back in 1830. The 18,000-square-foot home comes with 14 bedrooms, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a wood-paneled library holding 3,000 books on flora and naturalism, including a 1640 edition of a botanical codex, a man-made pond with Amazonian lily pads, a bronze statue of Athena, a chandelier-lit ballroom, a stable big enough for 30 horses, grand sitting rooms, 19th-century portraits in ornate frames, and stunning woodwork throughout. With a list price of 350 million euros, 410 million dollars, the owner, the Italian distiller Davide Campari Milano Spa, is betting that the house's combination of history, luxury, and a prime location will be enough to make it the most expensive residential sale in history. 5. For Fairfield, Pond Sagaponak. New York, this 23-acre property belongs to Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison. The compound has 10 buildings, a man-man lake, koi pond, tea house, and bath house. Though his 2012 purchase of the Hawaiian island of Lanai has been his largest overall investment by far, Ellison's made a number of blockbuster purchases over the last two decades. 6. Ellison Estate Woodside, California, this 23-acre property belongs to Oracle co-founder Larry Ellison. The compound has 10 buildings, a man-man lake, koi pond, tea house, and bath house. Though his 2012 purchase of the Hawaiian island of Lanai has been his largest overall investment by far, Ellison's made a number of blockbuster purchases over the last two decades. 7. Palazzo di Amore Beverly Hills, California, Jeff Green, a real estate entrepreneur and American politician, owned this 53,000 square feet Mediterranean-style villa. Not only does this massive estate come with 12 bedrooms, 23 bathrooms, tennis courts, swimming pools, a theater, waterfalls, a theater, reflecting pools and a garage that can accommodate 27 cars. It is also a party pad, with a revolving dance floor and ballroom. The property was relisted for sale in 2017 with an asking price of $129 million. 8. 
7. The Pinnacle Big Sky, Montana, part of the massive Yellowstone Club, a private ski and golf community for the mega-rich, the house is owned by Edra and timber baron Tim Blick Seth. The house comes with heated floors, multiple pools, a gym, a wine cellar, and its own ski lift. 9. Xanadu 2.0 Medina, Washington, you would expect one of the world's richest men to make it to the list of people who own the most expensive homes in the world. Not surprisingly, Microsoft co-founder Bill Gates and his, Melinda's home, Xanadu 2.0 in Medina, Washington, makes it to number 10 on our list of world's most expensive houses. The 66,000-square-foot home took Gates seven years and $63 million to build. Xanadu 2.0 is an earth-sheltered house, which means it is built into its surroundings to regulate temperature more efficiently. The 60-foot pool is located in a separate 3,900-square-foot building. This apart, the house has a 2,100-square-foot library with a dome roof and two secret bookcases, including one that reveals a hidden bar. What's more? The artwork on the walls can be changed with just a button. How's that for high-tech? 10. 18 to 19 Kensington Palace Gardens London, number 10 was designed by Philip Hardwick for Sutherland Hall Sutherland, and the first tenant was the civil engineer James Meadows Rendell, who probably became resident in early 1852, and died there in 1856. Princess Haya of Jordan resides in Kensington Palace Gardens. The home comes with 12 bedrooms, Turkish baths, an indoor pool, and parking for 20 cars. That's all for this video. Hope you will like the video and gather information about top expensive houses in the world. Share this video with other. This will give us motivation to create further videos. So bye for now. See you in the next video.